I can't believe you guys are making me do this. A lot of you are probably curious, asking, Dismo, why are you on Black Ops Cold War? Why is this in my sub box? This game is old. That's because at the beginning of the year, I made a video where we revisited this game, as I always do with these old games. I get bored of the current COD. I go back to the old ones, rinse and repeat COD cycle. I said that video, if we got, I think it was like 22,069 likes, that I would uh, come back to Black Ops Cold War and complete the 100% multiplayer challenge. Now, the video did break the light goal, but it's been a couple months. To be honest, the challenges we got are super easy. We just need to get 11 more cooked frag grenade kills, kills on a turret, so we just go to like the combined arms game mode or whatever, double kills with basically any lethal, and then we gotta do Fog of War, which is uh, capture 20 objectives while under the cover of a smoke grenade. We move over to Elite Operator. We only have one challenge, which is Vanquisher. Finish first place in 15 matches with free-for-all or squad versus squad. Probably just gonna do this in free-for-all, because yeah. Then we have countermeasures, where we only have one challenge, and that is Risk Taker. Destroy 15 enemy-controlled tanks with C4. I just want to start out with the free-for-all. I haven't played free for all since I don't know when. Okay, cheater. Good job, man. Not exactly where somebody was. That's crazy. I've been on this game for literally like five minutes. Already getting accused of cheating. It's a great day. Lots of cheaters, huh? Goodbye. What? Oh, you didn't do that, did you? I, I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just sitting there with a f***ing score streak. Oh, 100% I'm sitting here with the score streak. You want some too? Get out of here, dude. You're garbage without your score streak. You just killed me with a Marshall, bro, and you're crying that everyone's a cheater when in reality you're just awful. You had a war machine. What was I supposed to use? I gunned you down when you had marshals when I wasn't using score streak. I don't know who you're thinking of, but it wasn't me there, champ. What? It definitely was you. Nope, sure it wasn't. Keep living that little fantasy you got going on. Yeah, I already said he was cheating. He is. It's alright. Cheating in a three-year-old game. Good job. Nobody's cheating, man. You are. Like most PC players, you're cheating. Oh, you're seeing through walls, man. It's it's very obvious. I've been playing this game a long time. I know who's cheating. Hey, who's disconnected. To... Oh, and he left the game. <laughs> That's comical. If that guy wants to say that I was walling because I was using my mini map, unlike him, sure. I feel like ever since Modern Warfare 2019, they got rid of like the red dots in the mini map. People just really don't utilize it ever, regardless if they have a UAV or not. Back in the day, people still didn't use the mini map nearly as much. I remember vividly, there was a video that I made of Black Ops 3 where I was using the MR6 pistol and I dropped a nuke out. I believe it was on infection. I read the comments and some guy said, why do your eyes keep going to the top left of your screen? What, you got a second monitor with cheats? It's literally where the mini map is. People want a scapegoat for any and every reason on why they died. Checkmate. Honestly, this was a really good map. I just need to quickly win this free-for-all. I feel like all the other challenges I could probably knock out in like a couple of games, especially the frag grenade kills, the capture kills. Long shot. Yo, imagine a nuked out. Goodbye. 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 Oh my God, dude, I forgot how fun free-for-all is. Oh my God. Dude, they just keep spawning here. If I go back here, are they spawning? Oh my God, I got the spawn trap. Yes, this is perfect. Over here. Oh my god, there's the hand cannon already. Oh, this is in the bag. The dragon. He's coming for me. I got him, though. There's the harp up. Hi, welcome to... Oh my god, he almost got me calling in the harp. Oh, now they're all on the other side of the map. Hey, peek it. Over here. Oh my god, what a need! War machine time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. He's gone. 24, 25, 26. <laughs> I can just hear his footsteps just slowly ADSing around the corner. I'm dead. Oh, 30 and oh, we dropped the nuke. Camping ass, bitch. Hey, GG's, man. I don't know how many times you gotta lose before you start camping, but I'll never know, you punk ass bitch. I wouldn't know either, because I don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know, you punk. How many times you start camping? My 30 and 0. Be a bitch. <laughs>
I honestly forgot just how much fun a Treyarch COD is. This it just feels right, man. It reignites that nostalgia for the day. It puts me in a good mood. I'm happy playing this right now. Theoretically, I could play this game whenever I want, how much I want, but like Cold War is one of those games. I did basically everything you can do in this game outside of the 100 percenter challenge. The only camo grind that I didn't like finish was getting dark ether on every single gun in zombies. I got to get there before the cap. Oh my God, my whole team's there. Smoke it. Come on. <laughs> Grinding a gun gold on multiplayer doesn't even take an entire day. You can finish like two to three guns depending on the game modes that you're playing, especially with Cold War, considering you have the 6v6 face-off mode and like that just became a camo grinding heaven. Got him. Smoke it now. All right, another capture. Got you. Oh, hello. Goodbye. When I decided to finish this like camo grind on every single weapon, it was so late in Cold War's life cycle that I just didn't want to play zombies that much. That is the straightest and bluntest answer that I can possibly give. The one thing that I wish Treyarch would have done is added like an obsidian like camo grind to this game. I feel like for me personally and a lot of people, I don't want to say replayability, but it would just add so much to actually grind for in this game. If you give me a weapon mastery grind on a Treyarch game, like developers and like games that are my favorite, I'm going to no life this game like no other. I probably would have been level 1000 every single season in without any issue let me get it before the game ends please 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 yes I saw Jeff mention this when he unlocked the new Bowing Blossoms Mastery Camo in Modern Warfare 2. He mentioned how, like, we want more of these challenges throughout other Call of Duties, not only Modern Warfare 2. And I agree. All these developing studios, they need to talk with each other. They need to actually communicate so that, that a really good feature that is in one game transitions over to the other game. Like, the biggest thing for me is just the Obsidian Camo. I am still baffled that we haven't had... Okay. I'm still baffled that we haven't seen another obsidian camo in what now almost two years Maybe I'm in the minority here But like as time has gone on my enjoyment for call of duty has shifted from just like playing the game To having something to look forward to to grind for to obtain that so that I can see like some sort of progress I mean, we don't have traditional prestige anymore So like that's not even a thing for model for 2019 Like the big grinds were a the mastery of camo then grinding to level 1000 as simple as grinding to level 1000 Is what kept me playing the game. I hit level 1000 on bo3 two times. I reset two accounts, grinded Dark Matter twice, Black Ops 4, I hit level 1000, unlocked Dark Matter, reset my stats, regrinded to Prestige Master. And they did bring the level 1000 grind kinda to this game. It wasn't the same at all. Bro, I can't see. I'm fighting a ghost, bro. Hello? Back in the older games, grinding level 1000 was like a prestigious thing to do because it was there. Like once you hit level 1000, you're done. That's it. You can reset your stat or not. Just keep playing the game. See if I can get this cap He's behind me. Not anymore. That guy is, though. Not anymore. Don't break it. You would. Got you. Let me get this cat, please, with the smoke. Where are you at? I'm joking. No! Get it. Did I get... Yes, I got the sight unseen. Whew. Oh, my God. One... To. When they added level 1000 grind, I believe in Mod Warfare 2019, the fact that you can spend all that time no lifing the game, playing a ton, get to level 1000, and then it just resets and you get nothing for it when the next season comes, they had a golden opportunity to give you like level 1000 rewards for hitting level 1000 per season that would go away after you were done with it. Ooh. Ooh. Why is my game lagging? What? Bro, after every kill I get, my game lags. He's gonna walk through here. Hello. Goodbye. Take a look at COD Mobile, for example. They have those tournament modes that come out every so often. You can get the seasonal camo. Imagine if there was a seasonal camo for hitting level 1000. Once that season was done, there was no other way to obtain it. Just realized that I need to get these frag kills. Hold that. Thank you. Okay. Smoke it. Fog of War. Oh, that's the challenge done. Bet. Oh, we need three more kills for a nuke. There we go. Oh, we just got a nuke. Let's go. Two nukes in one video? I don't know why they don't think of these type of things because there's no way that, you know, I'm the only one that thinks this. Like, it's a super simple concept. My only guess is that they don't want to make camos better than the mastery camos that are in game because then nobody's going to grind them. But I feel like if somebody's grinding to level 1000 every single season for a camo, they're going to grind the mastery camo. My second thought is maybe they don't want to make skins that are really, really dope that are free that you can just grind for because then it would take away from skins that are in the shop. I've actually never gotten a nuke on this map. Where's it go? Oh, dude, he's just back there. Oh, that's so cool. I still think Treyarch does the best nuke in the game. And it was their first one. The fact that it leaves the whole, like, nuke going off in the background, it's just such a small touch. It's that final details that make me just love Treyarch that much more.
So we only need 10 more percent for career and we're at 93 percent for battle hardened so pretty much done normally with deals if they take a couple months to hit the light goal i usually don't do them but i'll make you guys a deal if you guys actually want to see it because it's been almost now four months if this video breaks 15,000 likes within the first like day or two i will come back and i 100 finish black ops cold war otherwise i will see you next year cold war